Hey, what's going on now? Christian Wilson coming back at you with another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be talking about really everything aesthetics. What you want to be training, how you want to be training it, and really just how you can maximize your aesthetics. So I'll be doing a bit of work on the lawn, and then I'll talk a little bit about that, and then go to the gym. Today is going to be mostly upper body, except for the paw squats at the beginning. So yeah, I'll see y'all inside. Just kidding, still inside, just finished the lawn, but when it comes to muscles you wanna train for aesthetics, um, I'll go ahead and get the obvious one out of the way. Upper chest is gonna be the first thing you wanna focus on a lot. Too many people make the mistake of training flat bench too much when they're trying to you know, get it as aesthetic as possible. Uh, and flat bench can be good. It has its place in training for aesthetics, but it develops the whole pec too much, kinda, uh, and you wanna be focusing on the upper pec. I don't know, just something about it makes you look a lot more like a Greek god. I would definitely prioritize incline bench over flat bench when training for aesthetics. I'm not sure most of you already know about this one. So the next muscle I would do is shoulders. Shoulders is a very big one. Too many people, I think, prioritize chest over shoulders. And in my opinion, I think shoulders should come before chest. It kind of does a better job at giving you that Greek god look. Like when you see people who train chest, specifically like flat bench too much, their chest just kind of sticks out too much compared to their shoulders. I feel like shoulders should kind of be bigger compared to the chest when trying to go for a Greek God look. I mean, when I think of somebody with a Greek God physique, I tend to think of Kino body first. Uh, I mean, look at his shoulders and how massive they are. And especially compared to his chest, like his chest is nice and proportionate. It helps the shoulders kind of come out a little bit more. And overall just does a really good job at giving him the Greek God look. And then, uh, of course, he has nice abs and such. Those are more so made in the kitchen rather than training. But the next muscle group I want to talk about is the traps. Like, look at his traps. The small traps, you kind of don't really get that alpha look. And that's kind of the look you need if you're going for that Greek god look. I feel like traps are super underrated when it comes to training for aesthetics. Uh, I think a good example of this would be like Jeff Nippert a few years ago. He was big, but his neck was just not there. So he made him look significantly smaller, a lot smaller than he actually was. But when he started to train traps, it kind of just brought his physique to a whole other level and helped him get that Greek God look better just from training his traps. The last muscle I'll talk about for building a Greek God physique is your back. Having that V taper is really important. Kind of creates an illusion that you're bigger than you actually are because if you have wide shoulders and a small waist then that v taper kind of helps the transition and just makes you look like you have a gigantic upper body now notice i didn't really mention any leg exercises because when you think of a greek god the legs aren't really something you think about but even if bodybuilding is your main thing that doesn't mean you should like skip legs or kind of neglect them in any sort of way you still want to train legs and get good proportionate size legs really anything will do like squats bulgarian split squats if you are enough of a menace to try to do. So when it comes to upper chest, the exercises you wanna be focusing on, as I think I said earlier, incline bench, that's like the absolute main thing you need to do. Um, hitting that heavy at least once a week is a good idea. Build strength on the incline bench because you will get bigger if you get stronger on the incline bench. Other than that, uh, there's no specific exercise I have in mind. Uh, just when you're doing your chest movements, you know, compounds and accessories, Remember to prioritize the upper chest more so than the flat chest, uh, but do make sure to hit the flat chest movements a bit as well on your upper body days. With shoulders, uh, first most obvious one, overhead press. That's the absolute easiest way to add mass to your shoulders and get stronger. There are like a bunch of accessories I could name, you know, lateral raises, everything like that. Uh, but really more so than the exercises, it kind of matters more to change your approach to how you train shoulders. Because a lot of people end up hitting shoulders after chest and by that time they're already fatigued and they don't really have enough energy to give it their all on shoulders. I think this is a pretty big mistake, especially when you're trying to train for aesthetics and that Greek God physique. So you gotta be training shoulders first in your workout. You don't necessarily need to have a dedicated shoulder day, but I definitely think it'd be a good idea to hit shoulders first on one day so that you can give it your all on, you know, overhead press or whatever it is you're hitting so you can, can create the most possible gains from it. I've been doing this for roughly two years and I've definitely seen some pretty insane gains when it comes to my shoulders. So I definitely recommend trying that out. For the traps, uh, I mean, really all I have to suggest is just doing shrugs, pretty obvious. Um, you should probably be doing shrugs after leg day. 
I don't really have any scientific evidence to back this up, but I'm sure you could probably find some. Uh, I'm pretty sure when you train legs, it kind of increases your testosterone. That's why uh, a lot of people like training biceps after legs. It kind of helps out with that a little bit. And the same sort of principle kind of applies to traps. So I recommend doing traps after legs. Your upper body shouldn't be depleted, so you can go really intense on it and see some really good gains from that. Now for the back and creating that V taper, there are a plethora of different options you can choose from, but when it specifically comes to building your physique, I kind of recommend doing weighted pull-ups slash chin-ups. This will help you get really strong with your body weight and it'll help build that V taper and build a nice thick wide back. For aesthetics purposes, I think this is better than deadlifting. Deadlifting you can do to just add overall mass to your back. I do think that doing heavy weighted chin-ups is the way to go. If you train strength on this, anywhere between like four to six reps for your top set, I think that'd be a really good idea. And overall, I think just like with any of these, just utilizing the RPT, reverse pyramid training method would be a really good idea so that you can hit your first set really intense and then back down for the remainder sets. And then of course there's legs. Uh, as I said earlier, you can just really pick anything because when it comes to Greek God physiques, legs aren't really that big of a deal, but you should still be training them. You know, just doing squats or Bulgarian split squats, always a good idea. Yeah, I'm fixing to head to the gym here in a bit. It's day three of my program. So that means I got uh, a pod squat single and then a wide grip bench. And then after that, it's just purely accessories for the chest, shoulders, and triceps. Um, and because I'm really trying to be kind of a hybrid of a powerlifter, a bodybuilder, and kind of a calisthenics guy, and overall just a really good athlete, I'm doing a powerlifting program right now, but for the for this day specifically, since it targets more bodybuilding stuff than the rest of the days, I've tried to do more upper chest stuff, as I mentioned for aesthetics. So it should be a really fun day when it comes to building the physique I'm trying to build. As I highlighted in this video here, uh, if you're just going through the motions on all these movements I just mentioned and not really focusing on the contraction, your gains will be significantly limited. So you're gonna have to make sure you actually feel the contraction and try to get that full range of motion for the most tears possible.
All right, y'all back from the gym. Um, pod squats, squats in general have been feeling pretty lousy lately, but I do think the pod squat single was a step in the right direction today. It was 325, moved pretty well, I think. So that was good. After that, I went to wide grip bench, uh, but it was, I did a just regular grip bench uh, for the last fourth set. Uh, I built up to 240, as you saw, that was for six. Moved really well. Like I'm pretty happy that I can build up to 240 as a fourth working set and do six reps with like two or three ups in the tank so that i'm pretty happy with and the rest you saw were just kind of exercises that you can use to try and build a greek god physique it was kind of emphasizing upper chest and then shoulder work as well um i do want to note one thing i said earlier in the video that you kind of want to have a workout where you start with shoulders so that you can emphasize working the shoulders more and get more gains for like Greek God look. But you definitely also want to have a workout where you start with chest because that upper chest is also very important. So keep that in mind. Don't only do shoulders first or don't only do chest first. You know, you want to do one of each. But yeah, we got one more workout before the deload next week, before we then go to the phase two of the program. I'll be sure to absolutely kill it on day four. Uh, I'll probably end up taking y'all along for that. Overall, I'm liking how things are looking and feeling and that 315 bench definitely feels like it should be in the bag in you know mid to late july when i max roughly seven weeks from now but yeah i hoped you learned some information about what it kind of takes to build that greek god physique just some of the exercises and some of the methods you should be using and just remember that if you don't make sacrifices for the things you want the things you want will become the sacrifice that being said drop some love subscribe drop a like uh and i'll see y'all in the next one